Hi, this is A. Praveen. I am a teacher of physical science. By watching this video, almost you will cover 90% of first lesson to remember easily. Reflection of light at curved surfaces. Diverging mirror is convex mirror. Converging mirror is concave mirror. Formula or relation between f find r is r equal to 2f and mirrors formula 1 by f equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u. Magnification formula m equal to minus v by u. Focal length always negative for a concave mirror. Focal length always positive for a convex mirror. Spherical mirrors are the part of a sphere. They are two types, concave mirror and convex mirror. Every radi is nothing but a normal for a spherical mirror. Sign convention for easy remembering of concave mirror and convex mirror. See the background image. For any mirror, any measure, the following sign convention rules applicable. In front a mirror is negative sign, behind the mirror is positive sign. Object distance in any case always negative for any mirror. Image height above the principal axis is always positive, below the principal axis always negative. All the distances should be measured from the pole. If a parallel ray meets a concave mirror, it passes through focus after reflection. See background image to get an idea. If a ray passing through focus and meets a concave mirror becomes parallel after reflection, see background image. If a ray incident normally, it reflects back in the same direction. See background image. Midpoint of the mirror is called pole of the mirror. The horizontal line which passes through the center of curvature and pole is called principal axis.
the distance between pole and center of curvature is radius of curvature the center of the sphere of which the curved surface of the mirror is a part is called center of curvature the ratio between the size of the image to the size of the object is called magnification the distance between pole and to the object is called object distance the distance between the pole and to the image is called an image distance the distance between the pole and the focus is called focal length it is a converging point or diverging point of light rays if a parallel ray meets the convex mirror after reflection it seem to be emanating from focus see the image if a ray seem to be meet a focus of convex mirror becomes parallel after reflection see image uses of uh, spherical mirrors convex mirror used as security mirror in atm for bikes as rear view mirror used in uh, buildings and also used in making of uh, lenses concave mirror is used by ent and dentist doctors also used in making of solar cookers concave mirror also used as reflectors in headlights and also used as a shaving mirrors if the focal length of a given mirror is 20 cm find its radius radius of curvature or equal to 2f substitute f equal to 20 in the formula it will become 2 into 20 that equal to 40 cm is the answer if radius of curvature of a mirror is 40 cm then find its focal length f use r equal to 2f formula by transposing it we can write uh, f equal to r by 2 substitute r equal to 40 cm cancel it by 2 then focal length is 20 cm is answer what is the focal length of a concave mirror if object is placed at 20 cm and real image obtained at 20 cm given in problem is u equal to minus 20 cm v equal to minus 20 cm use mirrors formula 
1 by f equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u substitute u and v then take lcm cancel and write a reciprocal then you will get the answer f equal to minus 10 centimeters find the magnification of concave mirror if object placed at 20 centimeters image obtained at 20 centimeters Problem 32 solution. Use magnification formula m equal to minus v by u. Substitute v and u values. Make it cancel and minus 1 remains. It means inverted image is formed with the same size at same distance. Differences between real image and virtual images are Real image. It is formed due to the converging light rays. This image can be formed on the screen. Real image. Generally, this image is inverted. It may diminished or enlarged. Virtual image, it is always formed as erect image, it may diminished or enlarged. Virtual image, it is formed due to the diverging light rays, this image cannot form on the screen. Solar cooker works based on the principle converging light rays produce heat energy. Archimedes used plane mirrors to burn ships. Along with this, you also concentrate on problem solving and uh, practice ray diagrams. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please like my video and uh, subscribe to my channel.